respected senior members of the dais and uh, respected members sitting in the auditorium. So I will be showing you a deferred life surgery of the latest silk procedure which is basically a second generation femtosecond lenticule extraction refractive surgery. So I am going to show you step by step how the procedure is performed. So the first step is to do the toric marking of the eye. And uh, in about 4 to 5 months from now, we would have automated cyclotorsion and automated centration of the machine. But as of now, we have to manually mark. So everybody has their own preferences. My preference is to mark on the slit lamp. And uh, when we are marking on the slit lamp, specifically we take care that the slit is bisecting both the pupils and we check it first and then we mark the both eyes. After this step, we will be shifting the patient to the Elita silk machine. So we place the slit lamp in the operation theater only and now the patient is being shifted to the silk machine. Now here we will be doing the first step which is creation of the lenticular. So I want to show you the parameters here. The number that we are correcting is about 5 with half a cylinder in right time and similar correction in the left time. So now we are all ready. I will be showing you only one eye and for the ease of recording and the direction, I will be demonstrating the left eye. So we are ready with the machine. The patient is in place. We are putting the speculum now. Although you can also do this step without the speculum. So you have both the options. You can place the suction ring directly onto the eye. And if you feel convenient, especially for beginners, I recommend using the speculum. Now, center the eye well onto the screen and now we go to the next step of putting the PI. So, this is the PI, it's a double piece PI and in some time we would also have a single piece PI coming in and uh, JNJ would be providing both the PIs as per comfort. So, I am used to using the FS200 and the IFS, so I am comfortable using the two piece PI. <coughs> this is the second part and now it attaches to the machine and now this is automated suction compared to the IFS where the suction was a manual suction with a switch. Now very important to clean the eye with a wet merosil to make sure that there are no dry spots and to remove the medium secretions. Now we place the suction ring onto the limbus and we start with the vacuum. So now the vacuum is in place, the eye is in control in your hands and slowly now the machine is lowered and docked onto the eye. So this is like any other femtosecond laser that you do. The docking is very simple. Once you reach a certain level of docking, then you have to pinch the ring and it docks beautifully. So now the docking is complete and now we start adjusting the eye to the parameter. So first is the cyclotorsion adjustment, although the cylinder is only half a diopter, still we want to give the best of the results, now we have the ability to do it. So slight adjustment of the cyclotorsion, then we do the centration, now you have the option to center it on the visual axis, like Dr. Maipal showed in the previous presentation, or you can center it on the pupillary axis. So this is now centered on the pupil, and now we are ready to fire this. So now, you can see here there is a 6 mm optic zone, an 8.2 mm transition zone and the opening is 3.5. So you have the capacity to vary it from 3 to 5 and for beginners I recommend starting maybe on a 4, 4.5 and then gradually reducing it to 3.5 and 3. And total 17 seconds, it's a very fast laser and the lectic cube is red. So this is, you see the side cut and the lenticular is ready. The laser is working at an ultra low energy. So we are working around 40 to 50 nanojoules of energy for all the steps. And now the first step is complete. Now the second step is to take the patient below the microscope and extract the lenticular. Now we have all the options. In our setup, we have placed the machine independently. You have an option of a swivel bed with the machine that, swivel, that can swivel below the excitement laser or below the microscope. That is as per the convenience. Now the patient is being shifted 
and we go below the microscope. So this is the microscope view that I am showing you. So I will be doing surgery slowly so every step can be appreciated. So first step is to open the incision and for beginners when you are starting the surgery it is important that you check that the incision is properly opened by swiping the instrument end to end. Sometimes they can be tissue bridging but needs to be addressed. Now the trick of the procedure is to dissect and enter both planes perfectly in the first stage. If you mess up at this point then maybe the dissection can become difficult at a later stage. So I opened up the anterior plane, I opened up the posterior plane. Now understand that this is a bi-convex length. So when you are going towards the anterior plane, you have to go at an angle or maybe lift your instrument around 45 degrees and then enter. And once you enter, you dissect it all the way till the end. And now you start opening the side pockets, so you open one pocket and then you start opening the other side of the interior plane. Now for beginners, do it gently, don't put too much of a pressure and once you open, just verify once or twice that the pockets are properly opened and there are no tissue bridges attached. Now you go below the lenticule in the posterior plane and you start dissecting the posterior plane. Now you could see here that I would get slight resistance at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position. So this is the beauty of silk that because of this slight resistance, the lenticule is most of the time centered. And you are able to easily dissect that way without the lenticule piece getting crumbled. And now the lenticule is perfectly dissected and we go in with an instrument, hold the lenticule and now just don't pull it up. Just make sure there are no tissue bridges and then take out this lenticule check. So for beginners for initial 500 to 1000 cases, I recommend checking the lenticule. And once you cross through that 1000 cases, then it is recommended that during the dissection, if you find any resistance, then you should probably check the lenticule once. Otherwise, with experience, you can skip this step at time for experience surgery. For beginner surgeon, it is mandatory that you check the lenticule to come out of the okay. Now, this step which I showed you, this is the ironing of cornea. This is important so that there are no open holes and slight soft ironing, and you can see that. It is nice and well centered and the surgery is complete. So it's a small procedure, quick procedure, a drop of antibiotic and we are going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Raya. I think that was an excellent demonstration of the same procedure. Very nicely explained step by step. Uh, anybody, Rajesh, would want to ask some questions or we can still have about three minutes left. Yeah, I think we can take the next presentation on a short and time if you want. No, no, no. But we have three minutes left three minutes. for the for, for question and answers. If anybody yeah, yeah. wants to ask a question. Okay, so what uh, choice would you give uh, Ryan to your patients? Gandura or Spike? Silk? I think now, everybody now, wants to ask you that. Now, 90% uh, of my patients undergo this procedure. And doing so many continuas over the years, we realize that uh, most of the patients do not really get the continua advantage, especially those patients who have insignificant higher order of patients. So what we are doing is that we are pre-evaluating the patient and if we feel that patient could have a higher amount of irregularities and that he could benefit from a topo guided treatment, then we choose them for continua. And in other places, we want to give the patient the advantage of a flapless and a bicomplex any other question uh, before we move on to the next session? Okay, thank you, Rahita.